Hey folks, Seth back with one board dad and I've been organizing just a little bit. So certainly not, not a perfect system, but I've got chests, I've got labels. I can put things in certain places, right? We've got our normal trees. We've got our fancy kind of sky orchard tree results. Some, some fruit at this point, plant stuff. Wait, that's not plant. Wrong, wrong spot. I'm going to call that tree thing. Oops, organization is still necessary. Uh, over here, raw materials. There we go. I'm gonna take you. So you can see I've got you know a little bit of organization. This is my new quest box, quest rewards, quest box thingy. So uh, in terms of quests, I haven't really done much. What I've been doing is just gathering up a bunch of flint and a bunch of dirt from the acorn process. Uh, hopefully, I think I've gotten to a point that I've got enough raw resources that we can keep the the today going pretty quickly. I'm hoping. So we're gonna progress along, like I said, my goal really is to get right down in here um, to kind of get in the meat of, you know, basic metal resource generation. So I wanna get the irons and the golds and the coppers and all that stuff. Um, and maybe even get some more duplication, get the redstone, the diamonds, you know, all that normal vanilla type resource generation from mining that I cannot otherwise do right now. So um, yeah, we're gonna keep progressing. So I have the dirt necessary. And then some so that will complete this quest uh, so then we need to get to the 16 pebbles right so I've got three math says this should take somewhere along the lines of I don't know like a hundred plus things of dirt so it might take both stacks of dirt to get to the 16 pebbles if we're not you know particularly lucky but we seem to be getting pretty lucky here there we go that's good that'll do all right well it only took like a stack and and a little bit i guess so we'll save the rest of this dirt for later beautiful uh while i'm at it i need to put this in where it all goes lots of seeds that i will look at later to find out what they do some pebbles which are probably useless and all that on the site and that was a quest reward. And I don't think I actually need to use these pebbles for anything, so I'm just gonna put them away. So there we go. So that's the pebble process. Which so if you know last episode we got kind of an easy way to get lava and water so we can get cobblestone generation. Uh, if we hadn't done that, doing that you know stack-ish of dirt would have gotten us these four stone pebbles or 16 stone pebbles, which would have made four cobblestone. The whole process there would have been four whole cobblestone. Uh, the quest next quest is to have eight cobblestone so we would have needed to gather up at least two stacks of dirt uh, and not through the way that i got my dirt anyway so you know i i think the sky orchard that's nuts okay um let's look here real quick this guy should not be possible to get through a quest reward i feel like this totally bypasses tech i don't think that's a good thing to be able to get so keep dropping things back here I might eat those cakes though. Um, so now we need gravel. Okay, so now we're back to where we can kind of progress per normal. Uh, since I got the hammer, I did, as you can see, uh, made some flint tools. So basically, if you have your wooden tool, you can just make a flint piece you want to add on and turn it into a flint tool. Makes it a little faster, makes it a little stronger, makes it a little easier to repair with flint. Now that we have a bunch. So what I can do is, do I have any sticks? grab some sticks uh, a lot of times what i'll do previously when i would play these kind of things to lay out smashing material is to grab a, a stone wand so we need eight gravel Let me go there this just kind of acts like a builder wand lets me extend it and then i can smash it and that gets the gravel from the smashing so we got that it's more rewards i can then take this so you could always do you know, the normal recipe you can go here get flint you could just put flint in the world and break it and eventually get flint um, you could sieve it if we put it in the sieve you have a 25 percent chance of getting uh, flint back etc etc there's lots of ways to get the flint again i use the trees to get lots of flint right lots of flint much more easily and then what it wants me to do, because I noticed I need to make nine flint stiffened mesh, right? So that is 
there we go six flint per mesh for nine meshes it means i need 54 i believe it is um 54 flint so again that's where kind of my initial review was doing this thing with the stone pebbles was going to be super tedious that, that can't be the intended way to do this because that is so much dirt and so many pebbles and so much cobble that you'd have to do to get 54 flint uh out of it like that's just crazy to me so i don't know like i said maybe maybe not quite the way it was supposed to be done but it seems more mentally uh mental main maintaining mental sanity maintaining i guess than the alternative so there we, go. we now have flint stiffened mesh which makes things more uh more readily available let's go in there i think this is a fixed one right that wasn't a random reward yeah, that was just a straight up reward so i'm going to actually put that here so if we want to use this we can just use this i'm going to say that that's okay because anyone everyone can get that through doing this need coal which i do have some coal wants me to make a regular furnace let's put some of the stuff away again stakes um let me think what do i need to make a regular furnace because i still just have my slab furnaces going over there I need one, two, three, four of those. And I think it's something like gears, cobble, and a coal. Pretty sure that's right. There we go. So it's something like, I don't know, 24, 25 pieces of cobblestone to make one furnace. So it's not that big of a deal since it's just cobblestone, but it's a little bit more annoying. The extra steps are probably more annoying than anything. Uh, now let's make charcoal. I don't think I've made any charcoal. Anything about that part? But I do have extra wood. That'll give us some charcoal. Now we're gonna need some torches, so may as well just make those with the coal that I've got on hand. Apparently, cannot make torches that way. We have to use. Charcoal? Coal works. Only makes two at a time, though. Huh. It's expensive. Why didn't that work, though? Oh, it literally has to be in the middle. Interesting. I'll wait for the charcoal. Not that it really matters. I mean, it's just as useful as coal in the end, but. Where else are we going? We're going to need sand. We're going to need dust. We're going to need glass. Okay, so. Again, not going too much in the details, but uh, I kind of skipped over that when I smashed the cobblestone into gravel. Uh, it's kind of just another progression for ex nihilo or whatever offshoot of it is it winds up being. Um, so you can go from cobblestone down to gravel. You can smash the gravel to make sand. You can smash the sand. And actually, uh, we're gonna need that sand separate. Let's do it again real quick. So gobble into gravel. Gravel into sand. And then sand can go into something called dust. Makes me think of dune, but I guess that's the spice, not the dust, right? So. And I'm also, I saw I'm gonna need some glass bottles. So let's just do it. One more time. Make a little extra sand that I can go turn to glass. Hopefully, save myself a step. There we go. All right. If I give me the charcoal, I should be able to use the charcoal with the sticks to make the torches. That then gives me the sand, the dust, I need the glass bottles. I'm going to make an oak crucible so again this is just kind of filling in the gaps it's kind of a i don't know if it's annoying to me um it's a little bit funny that we can be ahead of the quest and then have to kind of fill in the fill in the back end so get an oak crucible and again this is kind of what would have gotten us water previously All right, let's use leaves instead so it would go down we would throw i didn't need eight 
you throw leaves or some sort of growing thing in there and it'll slowly turn itself into water which we could bucket out i guess i should have waited until i could have made the glass first there we go we'll go ahead and cut this finishes that quest we need leaves how many leaves do i need for this quest don't be a lot don't be a lot oh just like four perfect okay oh because i need to fill a water bottle uh what i'm gonna do is actually i also made a medic because it seems more handy than a um oh geez what the what is this is that like a trapped piece of dirt back off okay what did it give me it gave me some clay all right i don't know why that happened oh i did it again i f i don't know if the dirt is the problem or the tool is the problem does it not recognize matic as a viable thing to dig dirt because i think that's what might be happening is that those might be popping out because it thinks i'm breaking it with the wrong item i don't know like it knows this is a shovel oh wait that's weird uh in here i've got these two extra buckets there we go we can infinite water now since it looks like these clay buckets don't stack they're probably going down in the deep void here sooner than later but there we go that gives me an easy thing to gather up there i need a barrel which i've already made but in this case we will actually want to use it uh, I, don't, I don't trust this there we go. okay okay so now that we have that we can use this bottle to fill in there but that's totally useless that takes forever uh, since i do have the extra clay bucket i can do this so by putting the water into the barrel, I can then use the dust to get the clay. Which I think is the next step. I need four clay, so. Easy. We need drying racks, it looks like. Grab the drying racks we already made. Put these back out, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what that's doing is, why is that not working? Yes, there we go. Uh, on the drying rack, we can turn this into something called porcelain clay. Uh, normally I'm used to that being something where you just mix bone meal with clay and get the porcelain clay, but it seems to want me to do it this way. So that will be just fine. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and suck up all the quest rewards. See if we get anything totally broken. Now there may be something that if it's literally like only obtainable through a quest reward, like you're not able to otherwise get it and you're really just waiting for when you happen to get it through the quest, then we'll probably use it. Like some of these rewards, like I saw something slipping through there, like um, inventory extender and those kind of things. But for right now, like I said, I'm content to just keep throwing it in here. Although ironically, it seems like it's um, triggering some quest rewards for me anyway. I think all this stuff was normal, original. Litherite, crushing dolls, floating dolls, energy conduits. This is the main thing that I think is a little bit extreme. Uh, I think it can change the flow of how things progress. These item ducks would be nice with servo, do some automation, so. Come on, that's like halfway. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else I need right now. Uh, what should be getting there, we're right into where we would normally be. So like getting this crucible is what would get you to the normal way of making lava. Uh, we already have the water, so then we should be to cobble gen situation. So then it wants me to start getting into iron ores and things. So making the actual stuff, uh, which I'm trying to decide if I can just do. I have some cobblestone. I don't want to use too much of it in case 
I'm not thinking of things quite correctly. But I think I'm going to need to. And actually, I think I'm probably going to need more than that, to be perfectly honest. So what I really want as kind of my next thing is I would like to get an automated cobble generator, which are pretty simple in current day. Like you could get super fancy and make this process much, much more efficient, uh, where you could be getting, you know, a stack of cobblestone per swing, which is probably actually faster, honestly, than the uh, automated process, but it's just not worth it. It takes up a lot of space. Oh, we do have a stack of gravel. I didn't realize I had that much gravel sitting around. So hopefully that plus we'll go ahead and smash this. And there we go. Okay, so hopefully that's enough gravel to get me what I need. Uh, what I need is basically iron. So now that we have gravel, we have it going into specifically flint stiffened mesh. Uh, that is important. Make sure you have the flint mesh. If you just do it in the string mesh, you're going to just get flint back and you don't want flint anymore. We already have flint, but we want this metal. Uh, specifically, we want iron. And I noticed when just looking through the recipes and the percentages and all that stuff, uh, ironically enough, all of the metals have the same percentage chance. I think it's like 10%. Uh, so that means you're going to get just as much, in this case, iridium as you're going to get aluminum as you're going to get tin, copper, iron. Uh, so it's actually kind of obnoxious because you're going to use so much more iron, copper, uh, than you are those other kind of random things. So we'll see. But I'm sure I will get enough iron out of this. Okay, we got six. That is what I needed. Go ahead and cook that up. Actually, I should have waited. Ah, give it back. Give it back. Okay. I'll wait for the quest because there is a quest. I'm jumping ahead already. You know, we finished the porcelain clay. So the whole reason for this is to turn it into a U, get an unfired crucible. Uh, I don't have anything better to cook. I guess we'll just cook coal. Uh, and we take it, we fire it. What just happened? That furnace sucked me in. Sucky furnace. Sleep while we're, while we're at it. Again, this is all pretty simple progression. So that is where we'll get into, let me take my wall of drying racks down. Probably need it for something else later. Uh, raw material. Uh, keep that. Process materials and gems. There's a dust in here, there's a flint in here. Quest reward. Like I said, trying to keep a little bit organized, maybe, sort of, somewhat. Here, give, me, give me that. Take that back. Okay, so that should progress me through. We got the uncooked crucible. We got the cooked crucible. We got the iron ore. So now I can reasonably come in and cook that up. Um, like I said, the crucible, you need to put it on top of a torch. So if you want to make lava with it, which is really the point. So you could go there and then put one, two, three, four cobble in, and it's slowly going to turn it into lava. So that's kind of the point. That's where we would go if we didn't use trees to get ahead in life. Um, oh, come on, go faster. This is actually going down the process. Like I said, I want to get straight to this cobblestone generator. That's like first and foremost, first use of resources. So then I do not have to stand here whacking. Oh, got an extra clock. I guess I could put that away. Yeah, so what's your thought on sky blocks? You like sky blocks? What would you rather do, sky blocks or like a normal, I don't know what you'd call it, like a normal adventure exploration based uh, pack. It's been a long time since I've actually reasonably played through like just a normal create a world, walk around the world kind of playthrough. I, I pretty much only play Skyblocks to a certain extent. I just I like the flow of it a little bit better. 
uh, maybe it's just I don't get as distracted because there's just I can't go anywhere. Um, also, I like the idea of having quests and kind of a progression path to work towards. We got our six. We're gonna turn these into buckets. The buckets I can then grab the lava and the water. Uh, and a new piece of glass and six cobbles. There we go, cobblestone generator. So all we gotta do with this guy is we'll just slap him like, slap him right there. And do I have any extra chests? I do not. Let's make some. Uh, I don't want like a bunch of chests just floating around. I'll just make one. And there we go. So you just got to put a chest on top of it, or an inventory of some sort. I think it's got to be on top. I don't think it can blow. Uh, can output to an inventory above, but can output to a hopper below. So yeah, so we could put that on top of a hopper and then have that go into a thing if we didn't want to have it go up into an inventory. But this is just easier right now. So it will slowly accumulate the cobblestone. Um, so that is going to give me... The ability to much more quickly make gravel and all of that good stuff. Keep getting all these these things just for maintenance. Like I said, from the beginning, I should have just not been collecting quests. I should have just let this this progress. Um, so now we're kind of at this juncture where we kind of deviate. Uh, we can get water wheels. Well, we're still waiting on iron, but we can make water wheels and auto sifters, which I believe, like the name implies, let's kind of automate the sifting process. Uh, also can go down the iron stiffen mesh. So just like we added flint to the mesh to get the flint stiffen mesh, we can add iron to the mesh to make it a little bit better. Um, I think that's the next step because we are going to, I think, need redstone down here anyway. And I believe the only way to get redstone is with the iron stiffen mesh. So redstone. Yeah, so we need at least iron or diamond stiffen mesh applied to dust. Uh, to get the redstone. We're going to need a little bit of redstone. So I'm going to need to get iron out. Let's see if there's any progression we can do here real quick, real easy. I'm going to take all of this cobblestone. And I think what I'm going to do, because this should speed up, we're going to put a lot of our resources initially, or well, a lot, like the first little bit of iron, first little bit of diamonds, into making this cobblestone generate faster, so it's just always full. Uh, but that means I'm going to be doing a lot of smashing, so I think I'm going to take that, take that. I think this will work. There we go. So we're going to need hammers. And I don't know if, I guess I should have tried to see if the Tinker version can do this, but what I want is a compressed stone hammer. So I got to make nine hammers out of stone. Probably some sort of hotkey that makes that easier. And then if I take all nine of those, I can roll them up into this big old beefy like club looking thing. You would not want to drop that on your foot. What that then allows me to do is do the smashing nine times faster, basically. So I just converted that over to 45 things of gravel, which is good, a little bit faster. Um, definitely if you could run this into, we have drawers. Uh, what's that called? It's a, uh, I don't think storage drawers are in here anyway. Interesting, okay. Because there's like storage drawers with the auto compacting chests and things like that. Um, I don't know. There's probably some way to make it do it. Um, but basically, if you could get the cobblestone coming out in here and automatically compress into, uh, or automatically crafted into the compressed version, then you could just pull it out and that'd be 
be even more convenient. But as is, it's pretty easy to just take it, throw it in the uh, crafting table and use it accordingly. So this is gonna let me go through a lot of gravel over here and get a bunch of iron. So what I'm gonna do is cut out here for a moment and get enough iron together to convert these all over to iron mesh and get enough iron to convert this to a iron cobblestone generator as well. So uh, we'll cut that grindy time out and I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, folks, that took a little bit longer than I expected, uh, but you can see I actually went a little bit further than uh, just what we talked about. So I've made a total mental, you know, philosophical shift here away from the three by three and embracing the four base, right? So uh, by going four, we got two by four, that's eight. When I have random stacks of 64, that means I actually divide evenly and don't get that one little leftover guy. Number 64 who gets meshed just by himself. So at this point, I've got eight of the iron mesh, four of the diamond mesh. I'll probably fill them maybe with some more diamond mesh. We'll see as things go forward. But that took a little bit, a little bit of processing. I also used some of the diamonds, the first of the diamonds, to make a cobblestone generator tier three. You can see a little diamond bling bling on the corners. Um, so cobblestone coming much more quickly, which is good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, decent amount of resources, got some emeralds and things from that, and some other various elements, but then actually a lot of metal pieces. Like that was, that was a lot of sifting to get all of that in place. So we're well underway to having materials. Now I need a processing mechanism for this, and I think that's going to be here in this furnace pulvis. Um, I don't think we're going to have a lot of time to get to that. I don't want to just rush through that right now and try to figure out how that works. And I also don't know that I want to rush through this auto sieving process. But what I did know, come across was I noticed there's this auto compressor from X Compressum. And I kind of want to play around with that for just a few minutes here and see if, I can't remember if I cooked iron. Did I have, okay, good. Got some iron cooking. Um, see if we can get that working in a way that automatically compresses the cobblestone like I was talking about earlier. So if I take that, I think I'm going to need one, two, three, four of those. There we go. So my hope is I can more or less just take the chest off, put the compressor on top, so it's feeding. Oh, does it need? Oh, okay, it does need energy. I wasn't sure. I was just kind of assuming it wouldn't require any power. Okay, well that's not going to work, obviously. So, because I do not have any power generation. So never mind. I was hoping that was going to be a nice easy solution. Maybe down the line, at least when we uh, we're, there we go. I build stuff. When we start compressing things, or we start compressing things, when we start having uh, power generation and automating some of this process. That might help. That would be something to keep in mind. We could flip it around here. There we go. Sorry for any dizziness, vertigo, mixing up, etc. So, you know, like I said, I, I want to get into, here, let's claim some of these quests just to wrap up those edges. Uh, I was hoping to get into the ore processing part of it because I'd like to have that grinding away. Uh, grinding away while uh, in between episodes. I didn't check. Are these random rewards? That's a fixed reward. That's a random reward. That's a random reward. That's a fixed reward. So there should be two, three books. Okay, those are all fixed rewards. So we'll hold on to those, and then these are all random rewards. There we go. Um, I think I'll hold off. Like I said, don't want to make these too long, too dragging along. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. We got auto cobblestone generation. Next episode, I think this lets me duplicate things. So we'll work on duplicating, automating a little bit here. And once we have all that knocked out, I guess we get into a little bit of like agriculture and animal type stuff over here. But really that starts to break into, okay, where do we go next, right? What do we want to do with the resources we now have? Which mod do we want to dive into? Um, Kinda thinking maybe mechanism. Mechanism in and of itself is pretty OP to be perfectly honest though. Um, it's got really good processing capabilities though, so it speeds things up. So it might be mechanism we just go straight into. Uh, we'll see, we'll take it take it one step at a time. So that said, uh, yeah, let me know if you see anything that could be done more easily. 
uh, streamlined, sped up, if there's anything I'm missing, overlooking, etc. Uh, and other than that, you know, just hope things are going well for you. Hope you have a great time wherever you go from here. And I hope to see you again next time. Take it easy.